John Evans here alongside my partner, Chris Dimitrievsky at uh, Peter Hallman Ball Yard in beautiful Kitchener, Ontario. We're here for the 2014 Border Battle brought to you by Home Run Sports. Uh, we're keying up here the um, U.S. Men's National Team versus Team Europe. Chris, uh, it's been a pretty nice day so far. We've caught three games early this morning. We got to uh, see Team Europe earlier this morning, lost to Quebec 29-14. Um, what are you looking for in this game, Chris? I'm looking forward to seeing uh, the Americans come out strong. Um, they have a, a wealth of talent. Um, the Europeans are still pretty much new to the game. So, um, I mean, you're going to see, um, you know, again, a great American team versus a European team that is just new to the game. And um, I'm looking forward to some good ball and some great plays. And uh, it's a great day for uh, slow pitch. Uh, we just came off witnessing uh, the U.S. Futures team um, knock the ball around the yard playing uh, small ball. Um, really punching the ball around the park. Is that something similar you see to the um, men's team uh, coming out of the gate here? Um, here we go. We're going with the leadoff hitter for Team Europe, number 77 from Ireland, uh, um, Eric Kelly. It's ball one, uh, outside part of the plate. Second pitch, line third base. That's a nice start for Team Europe. Uh, probably takes a few of the jitters out for these guys at this point. I can just go through the lineup quickly for Team USA. Pitching on the mound is LC Watson. We got Robert Blackburn at catching. Uh, from left to right in the infield is Bryson Baker at third. Luis Rainey at short. Kevin Bazat in the middle. Uh, second base, we have Jeff McGavin. And at first base, we have Kevin Philby. Then number two hitter here uh, for Team Europe, uh, Randy uh, Reif from the Netherlands, uh, popped up unfortunately on the first pitch. And to finish off the uh, defensively for the Americans in the outfield from left to right, it'll be uh, Brian Wegman in left field, center field will be uh, Corey Dillon, I believe it is, sorry, and Brandon Dillon, apologies. And in right field, we have uh, Donovan Prokraka. The number three hitter here for Team Europe, uh, number four, Brett Gibbons from Great Britain. Swings at the first pitch, that's deep. Looking a little short in front of the track. Hauled in, that's two out for Team Europe. Uh, that brings the number four hitter. Um, I believe the pitcher, we weren't provided positions for Team Europe, but this morning he was uh, Dan ch Spinks. chucking. Uh, number 10, Dan Spinks. There's two out at this point. Dan Spinks is the pitcher. And a line drive to first after a um, aggressive first swing for the leadoff hitter. Um, Team Europe goes quiet. The bottom of the first. Nothing, nothing. Um, can I get the first, the Americans, what they did? The uh, Sorry, the Europeans? Eric Kelly. Yeah. Uh, L3. Brett Gibbons. F7. And Randy was uh, F1, sorry. Yeah, I can do the same thing for the European. Yeah, I think I should have that. How do we sound? How do we sound? How did we sound? Oh, okay. Okay. And you're dropping us in between innings? Yeah. 
Welcome back. Um, we're going to send this over to Chris, who's going to run through the European defensive uh, lineup. The defensive lineup for the Europeans at third base is Crix Yoxel. At uh, shortstop, we have uh, Glenn Sig Polinius. At second, Wolfgang Walther. At first, we have Luis Arivijas. Uh, in the outfield, Eric Kelly in left. In center is Randy Rafe. And in right field is Zig Ziga Bauer. Um, that's Bryson Baker taking a two ball, one strike pitch and uh, one hopper to second for the first out. That's probably a nice start for the Europeans, Chris. Um, Absolutely. I mean, <laughs> Bryson's been hitting very well in the conference this year and uh, always getting getting the leadoff guys huge in any in any inning. Uh, the number two hitter. Um, Number 12, Brian Wegman, I believe playing right field for the U.S. tonight. He's left. Left field. Swing hit to the five man. That's two out. That's too quick out for the Europeans. Um, Got to boy them a little bit um, and give them a little bit of confidence. Yeah. Europeans are, are playing them defensively a little deep and uh, outside of the infield in, on, into the grass. So... Uh, uh, it looks like they've uh, adjusted defensively to the Americans. They know they're going to hit the ball well, and they have to be positioned accordingly to make those plays, make those outs. Up next, Kevin Philby. Um, I think you're going to hear from us most of the time when we run through this U.S. lineup. Uh, you know, solid hitter. Uh, every of the, these American hitters can uh, hit the ball pretty well. That's a strike, 2-2 two, two count, two out. Let's see what Mr. Philby has up his sleeve here. Gapper. And it's a line drive the other way. Looks like a stand-up double. Chris, I think that's a key right there. That one at bat might be a microcosm for how the Americans do the next few days. They're going to have to... Uh, Fight to keep the ball in the park here, I think. Yeah, that's one of the keys for their, in order to, for uh, Team USC to be successful here. Though they most definitely have to keep the ball in the park. There are a lot of strong hitters on the team, and um, that is one of the keys for the, for them to be successful here. Robert Blackburn at the dish now. Americans trying to get on the scoreboard here. Another and gap. And out of the park for a ground rule double that scores a blunt run. That um, I, th I think the Americans just have to kind of shake the nerves a little bit here uh, and get her going. Yeah, this is this is their first game of the day, so um, you know, uh, new surroundings, new. I mean, they just got here last night. I believe they had uh, practice just a few hours ago, so uh, this is totally new to them. So they'll have to. I'm sure they'll make some uh, in-game adju adjustments as the as the tournament goes on. Center fielder. Uh, Brandon Dillon up, a line drive over the infield. Again, another gapper that's going to play another run for the U.S. And another double. I think um, you're going to find, Chris, over the next day or so, the uh, the U.S. team trying to find that nice confidence swing, uh, hit those gaps. There is out um, kind of stretching from center field uh, to the left field foul line. There is a black netting up that um, I believe the next few days is going to be played as doubles. Yes, yeah, so uh, I mean, that w the netting will be in play. And that's a line drive the other way for Chris a home Larson. run for Chris Larson. <laughs> Big swing for Chris. I think he was uh, full intent there, really punching that line down the first baseline, but uh, uh, got a whole lot of it. and. It's not too bad. They, uh, that's their first home run. Uh, they are allowed 10. Um, one home run with five runs in is a pretty good ratio, uh, in my opinion. Yeah, just to let um, some of you uh, know if you're listening for the first time, um, the rules of the game, you're allowed 10 home runs uh, per team. Um, and once you hit those 10 home runs, if you happen to hit it out of the park again, uh, y you are out. Um, was a bit of the demise for the Americans in year two of this border battle series. Um, so it's quite important to make those home runs count when you can. Um, up now is Donovan Pokraka uh, playing right field tonight for the U.S. team. Uh, pitch that's deep, it looks like. Uh, three balls, one strike, I believe is the count. 
And there's a strike. Runs a count full. Apologies, Dan Spinks is pitching for the Europeans. I don't believe I mentioned that before. A line drive the other way. Caught. That ends the top of the, or sorry, the bottom of the second. Bottom of the first. Oh, bottom of the first, sorry. It's all right, sorry, Johnny. Four nothing for the U.S. Welcome back. Uh, top of the second inning here. Um, leading off for the Team Europe, number 69. Um, Steve Hazard. Steve Hazard uh, another fellow from Great Britain. Leading off for Team Europe, number Steve was two for three in the first Steve game today. Hazard. Looking to add to that. I think it's an important important situation here for the Europeans, Chris, to maybe get a few hits strung together here and just and uh, feel like they're part of this thing. Absolutely, just to build some confidence. Um, you know, if Steve can get on for them and stuff and uh, hopefully start start the ball rolling for them and, and who knows what can happen. That's a ground ball off the glove of Bryson Baker into shallow left field. A wide turn at first, but smart to get back to the bag. Might have to give an error to Bryson Baker on that one. I think that's a play he makes on a regular basis. Absolutely, and that, and that's uh, you know errors like that they should uh, capitalize on. I mean, take, you know, use that to their full advantage to uh, extend it in or possibly make a you know have a big run. Up now, Mike Lee. It's flared to short. Right left, Ryan's there. Left. Ryan comfortably races in and grabs that for the first out of the inning. The first baseman, um, number 43, it's Luis Averjeus, um, also from Great Britain. This is, um, the Europeans not um, the team, we saw them this morning at BP, they're not a big team, but uh, this fella is certainly someone that wouldn't look out of place on Team Canada or Team USA. Yeah, they're not, they're not the athletic specimens of, from the US or from Canada, but um, again, it's, it's, it is a, no a new sport to them, a novice sport to them, and uh, we're just glad that they're out here participating. Looks like a ball outside. Three and one. Lewis is having a uh, confident at bat here. Chop to Bryson Baker. To second. Over to first. Five. Kevin Bazat with a wonderful turn. Five, four, and three. Um, a double play gets the Americans out of the inning. And uh, we're rolling to the bottom of the second. Still four nothing the United States on one home run.
Welcome back. Uh, we're leading off with um, American Kevin Bazat uh, playing five man tonight. Um, as we can see, a little different from this morning, the uh, Team Europe um, is playing much deeper than they were this morning. Um, like we have mentioned a couple times here, they uh, they've were a little bit overwhelmed early on, I think, with the speed of the game and the differences of the game. And uh, they've made certainly adjustment I see from this morning, Chris. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, they, um, they've been here since uh, Monday, I believe. They had a couple exhibition games uh, in uh, just an hour uh, east of Kitchener in uh, Brampton, Ontario. And um, I think as the games of, of the, as they've played the games, early games and on, they've adjusted accordingly. You know, especially with the bats and, and defensively adjusting themselves quarterly so that they are prepared, you know, for especially the Americans to hit the ball really hard and give themselves an opportunity to make a play in the infield and or outfield. So Lewis Reyna up now, the shortstop for the Americans, taking ball three, it looks like, on the outside corner. Lewis punches it the other way, gets it through the infield. Well uh, run into there by the right fielder to hold Kevin Bazat at second. Um, you may see on a couple uh, shots here, you might see the runners in the background getting some pretty good leads. Um, stealing is actually a part of the ASA game. Yes, it is. Once the ball crosses, touches the plate, the, the base runner is field, uh, free to uh, run to uh, second base and or from second to third. And, uh, you know, it, they would like to attempt to steal the base and... Uh, uh, the ball is in play. The catcher can actually make the throw from first to second, get the runner out. But again, it's uh, very risky, but uh, it can happen. Second baseman uh, Jeff McGavin, line drive to uh, right field, into the gap there for double, plates two. Um, I think an early indication here, Chris, the, uh, the U.S. team is um, really concentrating here on playing that small ball game, which we talked about earlier coming online yeah especially uh, with the bottom of the order john i think that uh you know they're setting the table um they are uh more uh, they're not your typical uh home run hitter so they're gonna you know try to keep the ball in play and uh set the plate for the the bigger boys uh at the top of the order mind you at any given time any one of these guys can hit it out so uh, but again, uh, preserving the home runs is, is huge for the Americans. L.C. Watson's our batter, took the first pitch and uh, lined it foul down the right field line. A pitch it short. That's one thing I think you'll find, Chris, with um, um, these American guys tonight is they don't take too many bad swings. No, everything, everything's right. got to be within the strike zone in order for them to swing at it. Nice play, by the, nice play by the five-man there, but uh, not held on by the first baseman. Good hustle down the line. will uh, roll us to the top of the order, and Bryson Baker. Chris, you touched earlier on um, Bryson um, and the kind of year he's having in the conference. Yeah, uh, Bryson's one of the – I mean, Bryson plays for Laser Vision in the conference uh, along with uh, Brian Wegman, Kevin Philby, uh, Brett Helmer. And um, he's leading off for them. He's been leading their leadoff hitter all year. And uh, as we say that, Bryson hits a three-run shot to uh, make it nine to nothing. Left fielder didn't even move on that one. I think he noticed right off the bat. That's one thing that, um, you know, that's important in this, uh, especially this border battle series, home run sports border battle series, is the... Uh, you know, making those home runs count. Chris touched on it, getting five runs earlier or four runs earlier and only on one home run. Um, this park is 300 around, but we have noticed this morning it, it's playing a little smaller than that. Uh, Brian Wegman up, ball one. Um, they are hitting, um, I'm sure it's one of the questions that will be out there. It's uh, the Worth Pro Tac ball. It's the um, Softball Canada ball. It's a core 52, 275 pound compression ball as Wegman hits uh, a ball up the middle for a base hit. Um, I think we touched on the screen in left field as well. We haven't seen anything off there yet, but uh, there's a few games this morning where some teams were peppering it off that, uh, that yeah. extra fence. It looks like to be a 10 or 12 foot uh, meshing above the fence that's out there. That, uh, it it kind of looks like a hockey net, uh, you know, uh, in the defensive zone uh, behind the goalie. 
you know, prevents the pucks from going into the stands. So it's s something similar to that. And um, I, I think, I honestly think that the Americans and maybe possibly some other teams may take advantage of that to, you know, hit it right off the meshing. Strike one on Kevin Philby, and he hits it the other way, finds that gap that we're talking about. That makes Kevin two hits on the day, and a base hit and a double. Moves Brian Wegman to uh, third base. Bringing up uh, Robert Blackburn, who I believe is the reigning conference uh, batting average champion from last year. Robo did win the, the conference uh, batting title last year for the highest BP, OBP. Uh, he was close to 800, I believe. Um, and um, this year is uh, Brian's leading the way, but last year was Mr. Blackburn's uh, title. A base hit in his first at bat to center for Robo. First pitch is a ball. Ball three. I look for Robo possibly going the other way, backside, possibly getting the t those two runners across and, and or blowing it out, so we'll see what he does. Actually a tough little pitch there, it looks like. That ball uh, oh boy, <laughs> moved a little bit. We did not have the count right as uh, that strikes out Mr. Blackburn. I think for the first out of the inning. That was uh, questionable, I think, in my... That was tough pitch could have gone either way unfortunately it didn't for uh for robert and rolls us to brandon dillon the center fielder um brandon got a base hit to center his first at bat it looks like um dan spinks the the pitcher is actually uh moving that ball around left to right we've seen uh, some stuff inside and then um and float some stuff on the outside part of the plate yeah, Doing his best to keep the Americans off balanced up there at bat. So hopefully, you know, he'll get them to swing at his pitches. But again, they're so disciplined that uh, it'll be, you know, very hard for the Americans to swing at a bad pitch. So uh, Chris Larson is coming up to the plate. Uh, base is loaded. I don't think there's too many questions of what uh, Chris may be trying to do here. He had a home run in his first at bat. Uh, Chris is a long haul bomber, so I expect Chris to be. Uh, <laughs> bombing this one right now so a little deep makes it ball three three and one hopefully you guys will stick around with us we have a 6 30 game uh tonight that we're going to stream as well that's a strike full count um we're going with um, the team Canada's versus the u.s futures is the next game on our uh, schedule line drive nicely put over the infield hits the gap uh, that's going to plate at least a couple, as it does. It's a double. Nice little uh, start for Chris Larson. No ill effects of the long bus drive up here as uh, <laughs> as a homer is first at bat and a nice line drive double. We're rolling this to uh, Donovan Pokraka, uh, lined out to right field uh, to end the first inning. It looks like um, certainly the difference this morning, Chris, I'm noticing here with uh, Team Europe, they've made some really good adjustments, including the pitching. They're missing a lot more pitches deep. Yeah. Um, there was a lot of flat pitches kind of earlier on in the Quebec game this morning, and uh, it let the uh, our team from Quebec here swing away kind of freely. I think they're becoming more comfortable uh, with the settings and surroundings. And, and to be honest with you, they, they've got nothing to lose. Not sure if that has the distance. It's caught in front of the track and center. It's going to play to run, however. And that gives us 12. Plates run number 12 and rolls us to uh, number 14, the middle infielder, Kevin Bazat. That's two outs for Team USA. They've plated 12 runs to this point. Yes, and uh, they've batted around. Kevin let off the inning with a single. <laughs> Pitch on the outside corner, probably at the back side of the zone. Nice little mix on the inside part of the plate. And that uh, is what we spoke to a little bit earlier with the depth of the European infielders uh, playing a little bit deeper than they were this morning. 
but certainly those bounces and uh, stuff on that grass out there. The grass looked in tremendous t condition this morning when we kind of... Absolutely. The whole park, actually. They've done a great job in this park, uh, bringing it up uh, to try and make this as uh, uh, fun for the players as they can. Uh, rolls us to Lewis Reyna, the shortstop. A few of these players now that you see on the big club have come up through the U.S. Futures program. Um, both Lewis and Kevin Bazat played a few years back with the Futures program. Correct. As uh, Lewis hits a line drive to, to right field. He was thinking of a triple there, but holds up nicely. Plates another run as Kevin Bazat scores. And rolls us to Jeff McGavin, who I believe, Chris, this would be Jeff's second... U.S. selection or third? Third. I think it's his third, I believe. Uh, he has been on two previous border bottles. Um, combat. Uh, got the high socks today. And I'm certainly thinking he's looking the other way. And he and is. And he punches it through the side. That's going to plate Luis Reyna. Gives the U.S. another run and rolls it to the uh, bottom hitter here, the pitcher, L.C. Watson, who I believe is a resident of uh, Texas. Um, if we happen to be streaming to any of the um, Team Europe fans and friends and family, uh, they're certainly enjoying themselves. They're having a good time, and they're uh, they being a great representation of that program over there. Nice pitch, but called illegal, I guess, for height. LC tries to punt, pump it the other way and fouls it off into the trees down the line. I'm not sure how it didn't hit Chris Greinart standing out there. He's a little taller than some of the trees presently. <laughs> <laughs> That's a 2-2 two -two count. That's hit oh. up the middle, hits the lip of the infield. That's one of the dangers of playing yeah, um, that deep. LC got a fortuitous hop there. So. Could be a play at the plate, but everything looks okay. That is one of the dangers of playing deep. Certainly the infields um, that these guys are playing on, uh, they're fairly shallow. They'll certainly be shallow yeah. for the Americans. Um, I mean, the way the USA. Americans, yeah, the way the Americans hit the ball, the, I mean, you have to play them deep. Uh, otherwise, you, you just to give yourself a chance to make a play on them, um, you play, you know, shallow within the infield. It's just, it's going to be really hard. I mean, they, they hit the ball so hard that you know, it's it's hardly have any time to react. So. Hitter Brace, Brayson Baker uh, takes strike one, hits it to the five man. He's able to knock it down, but doesn't have a play. And puts two people on for Brian Wegman. We've seen a pretty good selection of different uh, ASA bats swung today. There doesn't seem to be a one hitting the ball any better, any any less than anyone else. Right across all the uh, from Combats to Worth to Louisville, Mikan. To Easton, which Brian is to using Easton. now. They hit a gap into right center. Double for Mr. Wegman. Knocks in L.C. Watson. Leaves runners at second and third. For the big man, Kevin Philby with a base hit and a double so far tonight. It's been beautiful weather the whole day out here at uh, Kitchener. If you have a chance, I heavily suggest you come down and check it out. The, uh, the concessions are... Humming, and they have a, um, a great setup here for the stands, and uh, the diamond's beautiful, and the sun is shining. Pitch to Kevin Philby. It looks like it's, it's staying in. And that is the third out. Looks like Team USA 17, Europe nothing, and we're going to the top of the third inning.
Welcome back. John Evans here with my uh, partner in the booth, Chris Dimitrievsky. I'm going to struggle with that for the next two or three days, Chris. So um, You're doing well so far, John. I, uh, I'll move, take that for now. <laughs> moving forward, we're going to say Big Chris or Chris D. Um, we're leading off here with the European squad. Uh, number two, Wolfgang Wather. Uh, we didn't see him hit this morning. Um, I think he was a pitch runner this morning. Looks like a right-handed hitter. Um, and hopefully he's going to get the uh, the Team Europe in gear here and get a few base hits and uh, get these fellas' confidence up a little bit. Little punch the other way, and that's going to fall there in. There we go. In front of Donovan Pokraka for a base hit. And hopefully that gets Team Europe going here. Uh, we're going to number 13. Um, he's playing third base tonight, Chris Yoxel. We have to make sure we get a look at that bat, Chris. It looks like, uh, from what we're hearing, it's a European release bat. It's a De Marini. It's yeah. a short barrel De Marini, it appears. It appears the European teams are using a lot of De Marinis. Um, why, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but uh, that's apparently that's their bat of choice for uh, the border battle. There we go. And it's Spun hit. Brian it's around. over top of Brian Wegman's head off the base of the fence. And fairly wise turn at first as he holds up. Um, but that's a base hit for Brian Yoxel. Uh, puts runners at first and third with nobody out. Coming to plate is um, number 58, who's playing right tonight, uh, Ziga Bauer. Um, Ziga is, looks like from Slovenia. Um, if you can yes. catch it sometimes on some of these jerseys of Team Europe, they have their country flag on the back of their shirt, um, which is a nice touch, I think. Yeah, that is the Slovenian flag, John. Europeans trying to get a rally going here. First and third, none out here. Punch the other way, Donovan Pokraka. And they'll let the run score from third. Gets Team Europe on the board with their first run of tonight's game. Cut the margin down to 16. We're going um, the shortstop um, from the Netherlands, Glenzig Polonius. He this morning made a couple nice plays. Um, very nice hands on the infield. And that looks like it's going to drop down the first baseline. It's going to get runners at first and third as Donovan had a bit of footing issues out there. The ball comes all the way through. That's a little fortuitous, fortuitous fly ball to drop in. Puts runners at first and third with one out. Um, rolls them back um, to Ireland's own Eric Kelly. Eric got a base hit, got Team Europe going with a, with a spark in his first at bat and was left stranded. Center field, fairly deep. I think it's going to hold it. Oh, and went off no, his glove. it's off the glove of the center fielder. It looks as if he may have run into the fence there to jar that ball loose. Um, the wind right now, um, the flags are still maybe a little breeze out to left. We did notice this morning some heavy uh, winds blowing out to left. I don't know if it affected the flight of that ball. Plates another run for Europe. Um, gets, them, uh, gets them within 15 and um, takes us to the center fielder, Randy Reef. Again, he's from the Netherlands. Randy can hit it out, and uh, oh. Line drive it. out of the reach of Kevin Bazat is going to play to run. Throw in a second, and safe. On a tight little play, plates another run for Team Europe. Rolls us to uh, the four hitter, Brett Gibbons from Great Britain. This could be, we saw a bit of BP from him this morning. He was hitting a lot of balls out on the practice diamonds. 
Uh, seemed like his power was centered to, to the left center field gap. Brett did have a home run in his first at bat today. Hit down the line, just foul. One ball, two strikes on the hitter. I'm sure these um, Americans have, or the American story team, Europe, have seen this kind of pitching either, Chris. Um, LC no. has a nice little knuckleball. He's moving it in and out. Um, I have noticed a few swings. Balls are a good foot short uh, of the plate and um, getting some guys reaching and stuff. So, um, you know, there's certainly some world-class pitching here. There's another oh, swing. It's down go. the line. And it is... Fair for a home she run. Is, yeah, that's three run shot for uh, Brett. Three run shot for Brett. Um, who's running it out? I guess he's happy about running it out, or they've changed the rules from earlier this morning. Chris, we were walking them off. But I don't know. Uh, I thought. <laughs> but we'll he's getting TV time in. <laughs> for sure he is. Cuts the lead to 11. 17-6. We saw this this morning from Team Europe. They seemed a little lackadaisical early on. The uh, Team Quebec got out to a pretty good run. And um, they really, really uh, put the pedal down and turned that into a ball yeah, game Yeah, they, um, they started off slow. Uh, they had a couple runs, and then it wasn't until the third or fourth they s put together uh, five run innings and, uh, you know, pushed the Quebec team. But then, uh, unfortunately for Europe, uh, Quebec uh, came out strong in the fifth and, um, you know, run ruled them. Strike one to Dan Spinks. Chops it into the dirt. Nice pick by Bryson Baker across the diamond for the out. It's two away. Yeah, that game this morning was interesting. The um, Team Europe really made it a game, brought it really close. I think it was in within two or three runs, and then... Um, yeah, exactly, Charlie. Yeah, it was 15-12, and, um, you know, they shut him down in the fourth, and then, um, and then in the fifth, the top of the... Uh, sorry, in uh, Quebec's fifth inning, they put put together 14 runs. They had a little get together prior to the inning and uh, they just got going and it was just a little bit too much for the Europeans to handle. Swing on a close call down the line by Steve Hazard. It looked like it was uh, fairly close but not too many protests. And the umpings, uh, umpiring has been very solid today. There's been um, some Hard hit balls going over bags left and right and some bang bang plays on the infield that uh, the umpire and crew's done a good job so far today. Yes, they have. One ball, two strikes. We'll see what LC decides to do here. Borderline um, a legal pitch, I would say. He was still moving quite a bit there. But uh, anyway, line drive to third base. That uh, completes the top of the third inning. We're 17 to 6 for Team US. We're back um, as Team Europe pitcher toe on the rubber and uh, Robert Blackburn going through his traditional kick the dirt in front of the plate, take a couple dry swings. John, before we start the bottom of the third, I just want to quickly give a shout out to DW Dale Weiser from Softball Center. Uh, a lot of the uh, printouts that we have, player biographies, are from Softball Center. I want to thank DW for that and uh, for everyone to go visit www.softballcenter.com. Uh, Dale does such fantastic work um, in the U.S. for the conference and for a ASA. Um, he's a great ambassador for the game. Um, yeah, I just again, I just want to thank DW for that, and uh, I look forward to you know uh, going to his website going forward. So, thanks, DW. Base hit uh, by Robert Blackburn, as would be suspected. He uh, punched it through the hole on the right side get the inning going for Team USA and rolls it over to uh, Brandon Dillon. Yeah. 
strike one called. On Brandon Dillon, the center fielder. It's a big swing, and I think that's got plenty enough to get out of here to center field. A two-run shot for Brandon Dillon. That's one thing the Americans possess, Chris, at any time. They can certainly move that scoreboard, which... Uh, Absolutely. That's, uh, that's the scary thing. Like, they're so disciplined, uh, such disciplined hitters that they can keep it in the ballpark and hit it out at an opportune, you know, at any time. And, um, you know, that's why they're, I mean, they're obviously the favorites in, in this border battle. That rolls us to Chris Larson, who on the day has a home run and a double in this game. A ball outside and deep. And a beautiful line drive down the first baseline. So he's got two at least. And he's going for three. The there big man's go. chugging to three, and the ball comes into the middle of the diamond, and that's a triple. He's, uh, he's the easy one away for the cycle. Yes, he is. <laughs> Uh, and that rolls it to Donovan Pokraka. If you see the young fella running across the diamond there for Team USA picking up the bats, that's actually Brett Helmer's son, who is another Brett, I believe. Brett Jr. And rolls it to Donovan Pokraka. Um, I have a line out to right field and a fly ball out. Correct. So Don uh, Donovan, I think, would like to get a base hit here and get himself going, which he hits a beautiful line drive to the gap and right off the combat sign, and he is gonna stop at two. A double, scoring uh, Chris Larson. Rolls it to uh, the middle infielder, Kevin Bazat. Again, I'd like to remind you to join us for the next game coming up. We have uh, Team Canada versus the U.S. Futures. Um, like we had mentioned, that U.S. Futures team is um, the game just before here. We're playing lots of small ball and really concentrating on keeping that ball in the park and hitting it around the diamond. Kevin reaches out, punches it the other way, and it gets in front of the left fielder uh, for a double. And that's certainly going to play Donovan Pokraka. Team Canada, we haven't mentioned too much about them this morning. They had a... Um, um, not really a seesaw battle this morning. They got out to a big lead fairly early on and had it in cruise control. And the home run sports or all stars um, really started swinging the bat and uh, put a lot of pressure on Team Canada and made them have to hit um, to win that game. And uh, looking forward to seeing how they come out in tonight's contest. It will be a big match for them against that Futures team. Lewis Rainier at the plate. Lewis is two for two so far. And Same he is going to, that's that going to drop in. And Lewis is uh, wonderful to watch around the bases as he has a nice stand-up triple there, plate in a run. Moves the American number to 21. Great with a glove and great with a bat. He's got such great bat control. He can just flick it anywhere he wants. And, and he can also, for a, for a little man, he can also blow it out at any time, so... Rolls it to Jeff McGavin. Uh, a double in his first at bat, a single in his last at bat. That also leaves Lewis with a home run short of the cycle. U.S. have done the oldest work with three home runs, having used only three home runs. Um, yes. Jeff McGavin hits it to center for an out. Plates another run as Luis Reina scores with ease and rolls it back to the pitcher, number 25, J.C. Watson. Or, sorry, L.C. Watson. Watson. LC hit a uh, ball to the five man, his first at bat, and got a base hit, his last at bat. I think he's tried a couple times now to push the ball uh, to right. 
And that looks like it's in the park. Yeah, and they're staying. And that's the third second out. That is the And it takes us to the top of the order to Bryson Baker. On three home runs, we'll see if uh, Team USA decides to swing a little bit more loosely here, if they're going to stay with their pattern here of trying to figure out this ballpark of where the ball is going to fly, where it's not. And Bryson punches the gap the other way. Should be a stand-up double. And gets it to... Uh, Mr. Wegman. Mr. Wegman, who's had a good game with a base hit and a double. Grounded out uh, in his first at bat in the first inning with the kind of surprise and took all our breaths away with the Team USA kind of the first two guys up at two outs. Mm -hmm. uh, but then they have since found their groove. Brian coming off a great weekend in Cincinnati. A line drive over the infield. Picked up by the left fielder. That's going to play to run. Brian gets his second single of the tonight's contest. Gets it to Kevin Philby, who's got a base hit, a double, and a fly out to right field. I'm gonna think sooner or later here, Chris, maybe Team USA starts swinging there for the home run a little bit to try and figure out this park. Yeah, they're still in the third. Um, they are up uh, They are up about 18 right now. Um, yeah, sooner or later, I'm sure they'll open up and free swing. Um, but uh, it's, it looks like there's uh, the maybe perhaps they're working on the game, keeping the ball in the park. Um, you know, we'll see how it goes. Kevin swinging the new Mike and ASA bat, along with Denny Crying, both Mike and hitters. And it looks like it's on the pit, on the plate. Sorry for a walk for Kevin Philby. Rolls it to Brandon Dillon, uh, who had a home run his so last at bat. Robo, oh, sorry, Robo, Robo. Robo. Robo can't, can't miss Robo. No, no. Uh, Robo with a couple base hits and that. Um, the Americans are batting around again here in the third, as, as the, was the case in the second. That pitch might have been called a strike his last at bat, but. Robo gets the ball call that time. That ball's on the plate for ball two. That was close. 24-6 is the score. And Robert decided to... Uh, yeah, she's... <laughs> put one a long way away. Going to push the score to 27-6, I believe. Correct. And takes us to the center fielder, Brandon Dillon. Kind of figured, Chris, sooner or later that the Team USA might decide to change their swings a little bit just to figure out this park of what, uh, what jumps out of here yeah. and what doesn't. And yeah, again, they, uh, they just came out here today for the first time. Um, you know, new ballpark, new surroundings. Uh, but having said that, I mean, uh, all those guys have played all over the place throughout the United States and in some parts of Canada. So, um, you know, they're they're adjusting. I mean, um, they're working. I, I believe they are working on on their hits and keeping the ball in the park. And um, yeah, they're just they just will continue to build upon their, their own strengths. And that's Ouch. Brandon Dillon off the pitcher. I think he got it in the shins there. Yeah. Now he's up to his credit. Looks like he's okay walking it out, looking for the ball. That was a, certainly a missile off the bat of Mr. Dillon. Yeah, he's may have a little bruise there. It's it's great to see that he is wearing a a mask out there on the mound. Um 
you know, I, li I like, personally, I like to see that uh, the pitchers were protect, protect themselves. The game has improved so much. The players are, bi are bigger and stronger and, um, you know, again, it is, this is a recreational sport and no need for anyone to get hurt out there, so. And followed up with a line drive out to right field by Chris Larson. And that takes us to the top of the fourth. Team USA well in control with 27, Team Europe with six. And we'll see you in a couple seconds. We're back here, uh, going to the top of the fourth inning, 27-6. John here alongside Chris. Um, we're leading off here with the catcher, uh, number 32 from Great Britain, Mike Lee. He flew out to left field his uh, last at bat and hoping to get something started, kick started here for the Team Europe. Um, the mercy rules here for this weekend are um, 15, I believe, Chris, any time after four and a half, I guess, if you're the home squad. Yeah, it's a 15-run rule after uh, five completed innings. Uh, right now we stand at 27-6 to six here in uh, the top of the fourth. And the big man gets his hands out, but not quite deep enough as Brian Wegman hauls that in for the first out. Honestly, Chris, the ball doesn't seem to be flying like it was this afternoon. In the Team Canada game, there was um, some big home runs hit um, earlier on when uh, Team Canada played home run sports all-stars. Um, but the ball doesn't seem to be flying quite as much. It is getting a little bit warmer now, so, yeah. Um, we have the first baseman up, number 43. Lewis R. Rivelagis, I believe, uh, from Great Britain, hit into a double play um, earlier on. And it's a line drive down the uh, left field line um, for a base hit. Um, gets Team Europe uh, started here um, in the fourth inning with a base hit. One out, base hit, uh, brings the number two hitter. Um, Wolfgang Walther, um, who got a base hit in his first at bat, um, hit the ball off, I believe. They're playing a weak side, it looks like. Kevin Bazot's moving and hits oh. it off the end of Jeff McGavin's glove. A nice little start to the inning here for Team Europe after they got the first out. Um, and rolls it to the first baseman, Chris Yoxel. Um, who got a base hit his first at bat, and I believe this morning showed a little bit of power in that bat. Um, took the ball to the fence a couple times. Be good for Team Europe if they can to get a few runs here and keep themselves in this ball game. And that ball's flared, and it may no Mr. Wegman. Cruises underneath that to get the second out. And rolls us to um, number 58, the right fielder, Ziga Bauer. I think Brian's battling the sun there too, uh, a little bit. 
And a line drive up the middle over the glove of Kevin Bazat. They're going to try and score a run here. And in standing up, plates a run for Team Europe. Gets it to the uh, last hitter, um, the center fielder, um, Glensig. Sorry, the shortstop, Glensig Polinis. Um, he had a base hit his first at bat, and I think he hopes he gets one here to keep this inning rolling. Yeah, they need to get some more runs across. Um, you know, they're uh, they're beyond the 15-run mercy rule. So, um. line drive, ground ball. Sorry, ground ball the other way, and the throw to the plate by Donovan Pokraka. It was up the line slightly, and Wolfgang was able to get under the tag and swipe the top of the plate. Plates another run for the U.S. These runners at first and third and takes us to the top of the order um, for Eric Kelly. Another run for the Europeans. Eric's got a base hit um, and then hit that ball to center field that we lost a little bit of the flight of. And uh, as uh, the center fielder ran into the fence, the ball bobbled out. And he swings a little bit loosely here, and Wegman going back to the fence, and that might be, and it's out of here. It's out of here. Three-run shot for Eric Kelly, the pride of Ireland. It's a little, uh, we kind of hold our breath a little bit with balls down the uh, left field line with that mesh. We got fooled a little bit this morning a couple times um, with thinking balls were long gone out and they were off the mesh or... Yeah, the we boys. thought were easy home runs that all of a sudden were back in the park and guys were a quarter of the way up the line. So that's certainly going to be for as each team's get on this diamond and, and get to figure it out. That's certainly something that's going to come into play. There's already talk around the park of that cage um, or that mesh um, affecting the border battle game, and goods and bad, uh, possibly. A line drive um, to end the inning by Randy Reif. Um, the Europeans get a few runs there, close it to within 27-11. Going to the bottom of the fourth inning, I believe Donovan Pokraka is going to be leading us off. John and Chris back here, bottom of the fourth inning. Uh, we're trying to get our sea legs under us here. Um, Prokraka, Bazette, and Reina start things off here in the bottom of the fourth for Team USA. Dan Spinks still on the mound for Team Europe after taking that ball off the leg earlier in the inning or previous innings. Um, we're going to get going here with Donovan Prokraka, who has uh, one for three so far on the day. And hits that ball past the third baseman for a base hit. Which gets him to the middle infielder, Kevin Bazat. Kevin's been pretty successful today. A single, a double. Got on in an air, I believe, in the first inning. Um, if you want to um, ask us any questions or anything during the weekend, um, feel free to send me a tweet at EvansJohn66, and we'll be sure to That's fill you in if you have any questions or any rumors uh, or want any rumors clarified or bats guys are swinging or changes to rosters, stuff like that, as uh, 
Kevin Bazan hits one to the fence to play to run. Small ball. It's an impressive display of hitting so far for Team USA. They have 28 runs now on f only four home runs used. Not too many errors as well. They're just hitting the ball. Looks like Denny Krein is uh, out in the on-deck circle. It looks like he's coming in for Jeff McGavin. Lewis Reyna at the plate. Pride of Tampa Bay, Luis Reyna. It's ball one. And ball two, inside and probably a little bit flat. 28-11 in the bottom of the fourth. And hits the plate. So that's a walk for Luis Reyna. It looks like uh, Denny Krein, as we had suspected, is going to hit for Jeff McGowan. Jeff McGavin. McGavin. Denny Grine, at least up here in Canada, uh, is uh, the talk of the town. That uh, that DC-41, uh, Mike and DC-41, seems to be the weapon of choice. Yeah, it's uh, become really popular in Ontario in, in the Super Series uh, amongst the, the Canadian guys in Ontario, especially. Um. Clearly, Denny will be a uh, Mike and sponsored player. Another long haul bomber on uh, Team USA. Um, as um, number eight, Travis Clark, it gets to the on deck circle. Um, Going to be hitting, it looks like, for LC Watson. Uh, I think the um, people in the stands here, there's a bit of a buzz going on. I think they anticipate this ball uh, possibly landing in the middle of the other diamond. Then he's going to hit it back to Henderson, Nevada, where Denny's from. <laughs> Certainly an opposing man in the in the box, that's for sure. I think he's the biggest man in the conference, John. He's uh, one of the tallest men and biggest men. And here are the fans getting a little bit restless here as the uh, count goes to 3-1, and one, and they're hoping he gets the green light. Oh. And he's completely mishit it, but it's still going to leave the park. Yeah. That's what we were talking a little bit earlier this morning. Um, it wasn't hit well. It's certainly not a ball. I think Denny would be ecstatic the way he hit it, but uh, um, he, he spun it well. Some mistakes certainly do leave this park. So, and number eight coming to the plate, Travis Clark is going to be the pitch hitter for uh, L.C. Watson. That moves the board to 30, I believe, to 11. I got 31, One? John. Might be 31. 31, 11, yes. And nice hit by Travis. Travis just serves it down the first baseline for a stand-up double. It's a wonderful little display there. If these guys continue to hit like this with placement, uh, they're going to be tough to beat. Gets it to the top of the order to Bryson Baker. So back to the top of the order for Team USA with the third baseman number four, Bryson Baker. Um, I don't think there's anybody out in this inning. It's the first pitch. Bryson with the line drive over the infield. Knocks it to the gap. That's going to be another double for Team USA as Travis Clark trots in for another run. And gets it to Brian Wegman, who's three for four on the day with a couple so base hits. Might need some more paper, John, to score. Chris's scorecard's getting a little full. U.S. has done it on five home runs. That ball's knuckling. Oh, and nice catch! Nice wow. catch. That's he a hit tough. that on the screws. That was <laughs> that was a good play by the left fielder Brian. Just oh wow! Gets us to Kevin Philby. Uh, 
who's uh, two for three. I have my base hit, a double, a walk, and a fly out. And I think the crowd's getting a little restless down there looking for some big home runs. 31-11. Yeah, I, I mean, I see Kevin. Kevin can get into it. He's able to launch the ball very far. There's a creek over there that's uh, calling Kevin right now. So hopefully... Ball one, or ball two, sorry. There yeah. you go. Told you. Kevin went for <laughs> it, and he got it. Two-run home run for Kevin Philby. Moves the board to 33 and gets it to Robert Blackburn. 34 is the score. I apologize. Six home run. The pride of Indian Trails, North Carolina, Mr. Robert Blackburn. Affectionately known as Robo. Hits it to the second baseman, who turns, makes the throw, and gets the out. That was a nice play. I believe that's Wolfgang Wather out there. Makes a nice backhanded play, plants, and makes a good throw to get Robert Blackburn. Brandon Dillon is up next, in the center fielder today for Team USA. Brandon hasn't gone out today, I don't believe. No, I two have. Two for three. Yeah. Two singles, a homer, and a walk earlier on. And finds another gap on the infield for another base hit for Team USA. And gets this to Chris Larson. Mr. Helmer's the last remaining player, bench player for Team USA. We'll see if... Uh, and Chris decides to take yeah. that ball for a bit of a ride and hits it a good 60 feet, 70 feet past that home run fence. Yeah, that was about a 350, 375 foot shot. And, and he missed it. And that moves it to home run number seven, I believe, for Team USA. I've got seven, John. Donovan Pokraka is our next batter, the right fielder. Um, started off slowly with a couple of outs, but uh, double and a single since. As Dan Spinks is waiting for a ball. What we kind of suspected that we talked about earlier on here, Team US is opening up a little bit and kind of free yes, swinging yeah, here. Yeah, there they go. There, and, there's uh, another shot by Donovan. So that's number eight. Which is certainly making the crowd a little bit happier as they're looking for guys to hit it further and further. Gets it to Kevin Bazat. It's the next hitter for Team US. Kevin's had a nice day. Three for four. Hit the ball pretty hard in the first inning to the third baseman. Went off the end of his glove. First pitch, a little short. So it's two balls, one strike. Three and one. I'm sure Kevin's looking for a pitch here he can drive. And hits it to Wolfgang Wather, wow. who beats it out. In short right field, and <laughs> Kevin's Kevin got quickly down the line and beat that out. But good hustle by Kevin. No quitting him at this point. Luis Reyna is making a bid here to be the first player to hit for the cycle. I think if he knocks one out of here, mm -hmm. so all that's left is the home run. A lot of speed in the bottom of the Team USA order too, John. 
Some people below us are already buzzing a little bit, waiting for Denny Grind to get his next at bat. So they're hoping the inning continues to get to him. Lewis, nice little controlled swing, finds that gap in the middle part of the diamond and gets a double. And gets us to Denny Grind. Who um, had a home run in his at bat this inning as he was subbed in for Jeff McGavin. Making it a bit of a long inning for Team Europe. Then he gets out ahead of that a little bit and lines no. out to center field to take his bid away for his second home run in the inning and gets Team Europe out of this inning. 37-11 is our score heading to the top of the fifth. We're back here at the top of the fifth inning. Uh, number four, um, hitting for Team Europe, Brett Gibbons from Great Britain. Oh, he um, he's flew out to left field and hit a home run his last at bat. I think a three-run shot to give uh, Team Europe a bit of life. Elsie Watson back in the game. Um, Avis Travis Clark uh, hit for him in the last inning. Dan hits a ground ball to Luis Reyna. Snaps the throw over to first for the out. Makes it one out here in the top of the fifth inning. Yeah, the Team Europe needs, uh, by my calculations, at least 12 runs to uh, you know, carry the game forward into the bottom of the fifth. It's 37-11 now. The run rule is 15 after five innings. So uh, Team Europe does uh, have its work cut out for them. Dan Spinks up. A ground out and a line drive out to first base. Chops the ball down the third base line for a foul ball. Um, like we had mentioned, the next game uh, we're going to stream here is um, Team Canada uh, versus the U.S. Futures team. Um, again, also we want to thank the sponsors uh, for hosting this and giving us the opportunity to stream these games, um, which includes Combat, TPS, uh, Louisville Slugger, Mike and Worth, ground ball to third base, Bryson Baker snaps it over. Uh, Combat is part of that as well. And of course, uh, thank the people here at Sports Canada TV. If you want to catch us online, it's Sports Canada TV backslash Border Battle. Uh, I want to thank them for um, setting this up for us so we can bring you guys some of the action that can't make it to the game and uh, lead us up to the big game on uh, Saturday afternoon the sixth uh, border battle uh, up next here um, we have Steve Hazard from Great Britain um, hits a foul ball down the third base line um, he has not got a hit in this game um, but has hit uh, the balls at Bryson Baker both times up one off the end of uh, Bryson's glove in the uh, his First at bat, uh, allowed him to get on. 
Uh, we really encourage you if you can join us uh, for the next game again. Team Canada versus the U.S. Futures team. Um, should be a good game. That was a close pitch. And that is foul. the ball game. Foul ball out. Um, that leaves us with the final score here of 37 11 for Team USA. Um, fairly easy go for them today, Chris. Yeah, again, they uh, they came in here uh, just last night. Um, you know, they just got around. Uh, they got to the park a couple hours ago, had some swings and stuff, getting, getting ready for today's game. This is a nice. Uh, warm up to their winning uh, to their weekend. Uh, they did play dis disciplined ball. Uh, they did start to open up later on to uh, pull themselves uh, away uh, using the mercy rule to their advantage. Um, again, they're gonna, they're going to be really hard to beat. They're a very disciplined team, great defense. Um, you know, there is a reason why they're the, 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 they are the favorites uh, for this weekend. So. Um, you know, uh, the Futures team and also Team Canada and all the other teams have to play their best in order to beat uh, Team USA. That's going to wrap it up uh, for our first stream game here at the 2014 Home Run Sports Border Battle. Um, join us back here. We're going to try and get things going for the 630 game as close to 630 as possible. Again, it's the U.S. Futures team versus Team Canada. It should be a good game um, and hope you join us.